right? This is really what we see as the next generation of mobile UIs <coughs> delivered by an astonishing UI framework, Cascades. This is all built on top of that open foundation, the standards foundation we've been talking about. So we've taken technology from TAT and we've dropped that in on top and we're making it incredibly easy for developers to achieve these kind of user experiences. So do we want to... So let's, yeah, let's... Uh, there's two of them here. Let's show it up. Let's let's you're good. So you're good. Yeah. All right, so what, what you're looking at here, this is, uh, this is like a picture viewer application. Let's, let's see if we can get some, uh, get the camera right. Get in there. So you can see here that I'm touching, scrolling across, right? Nice fluid movement transition. So now you got a little, something a little more mind-blowing. You've got the, the actual photos dropping in with 3D effects, drop shadows, uh, nice motion, different views, different camera angles. Uh, and then you've got nice animations with tags flying in. So this is all being built on Cascades. And what's amazing about this, aside from the, the great visual design, is that the Cascades framework makes it incredibly easy for you as developers to achieve these kind of effects with very little code. So this is actually just a standard list in Cascades. The 3D effects, the animations, the shaders, the physics, this is all baked into the framework. So as a developer, you are just, you know, setting properties and, and configuring the way you want your UI to behave. So a lot of this work we've, that, that, that uh, the Astonishing Tribe has done with Cascades is they've also built the, the actual the, the framework, the, 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 the pieces. Absolutely. Right? But that, the, our developers don't have to stop there. No, no, absolutely. They can get, they can get deep with this. If you, if really you want to go... Astonishing thing. If you want to go off the grid and go free form, if you do have that background in graphics and physics and you want to really you know, pump the most out of this framework, it's incredible what you can do. It's a fully hardware accelerator built right in. Absolutely. Deep into the VBS platform. Absolutely. Built right on top of those open standards that, that you were talking about, taking full advantage of all the hardware and all the power of the Qnix operating. And that really rounds out our native platform, doesn't it? Absolutely. This gives developers, you know, Everything from low level, native C APIs, and you can build a game engine on all the way up to the high level where you can do you know, basic business apps with controls and containers <coughs> and buttons and text boxes. And, and delight the user at the same time. Absolutely. I, mean, I don't have to look like a, like a, a PC app. No, no, I mean, I don't think this looks anything like a PC app. I mean, you guys tell me. So, so Anders, what, what did you want to show us? Yeah, so these are really exciting times for us at the Astonishing Tribe. You know, we finally get to put our build up framework cascades in the hands of developers. We've been waiting a long time for this. So I want to show you one more uh, example of what you can do. I mean, I think one of the really nice things with cascades, I mean, what makes it really uh, unique is the level of, the, um, of uh, the APIs. I mean, you both have the built-in uh, components where you can very easily build, uh, the, uh, build a fantastic UI. At the same time, you can customize it. Like in this case, we have actually built an application that visualizes your inbox. And so you have that BlackBerry two thumbs approach. Right, so right. Right. using you're, your thumb. You're multi-touching, you're stretching the data, you're looking at it, you're compressing the data. Right, so this is my inbox and I can just very quickly zoom into it and look into specific uh, conversations. Uh, and all of this is made available through Cascades. I mean, this thumb gesture is built in. We have a, a, a pretty uh, high level mesh API making it possible to do these really customized UI components. So here I have one example. It's really uh, and all these transitions when moving between different zoom levels, they're all built in cascades. And these, these um, UI components have been designed by TAT and imported into the basic BBX framework. So all our developers can take advantage of this. Right. I mean, we really want uh, to see what the development community can do with our tools. So we, we try to build in as much prepackaged design, prepackaged. Uh, uh, visual uh, concepts. So this will be, I mean, we, we're just waiting to get this out there and see what, what can be done. I mean, it's great. Yeah, this, this is about the future of mobile computing and, you know, the UIs are going to change. And this is, this is what TAT has been pioneering for years, right? This vision of 3D actually being used, uh, you know, not, not just frivolously, but for absolute value in the application, doing something like this. It seems to be completely integrated in all of the aspects of the database, all the lists, all the data, and it's real time, and it's all stitched together, and it feels like you're interacting physically with the information. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, nobody else has this level of capability baked into a framework 
the developers have access to like this? Nobody else. Does. This is over 300,000 emails visualized in this <coughs> very powerful and beautiful way. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. And we're going to get into this in much more detail later on in the show, in the tech keynote. Yep. So, yeah, of course. And, you know, this is, we're just giving you a little sampler here today in the, in the, in the morning keynote. But we're going to go into deep dive later on where you're going to work and you're going to show the, the developers just how detailed and powerful this platform Absolutely. is. Absolutely. How well thought through it is and all the great tools and support you're going to be providing. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Mike.